politicians in Edo State have had a busy day in court as the PDP counts down to its primary on Thursday. First, an Edo State High Court in Ekoma restrains the People's Democratic Party and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from excluding any of the aspirants who have been screened and cleared by the party from participating in the gubernatorial primary. Justice Joy Okiayayine specifically ordered the PDP and INEC to recognize Governor Gordon Obasaki as lawful aspirant, having been lawfully screened and cleared by the party. This order is pending the hearing of the motion on notice. With this order of the court, Governor Obasaki has been given the legal pass to participate in the primary. Earlier, a federal high court in Port Harcourt granted a request for an accelerated hearing of the suit seeking to bar Governor Gordon Obasaki from participating in the governorship primary. Ovietemi George reports. The withdrawal of Gideon Ihine from the race for the governorship ticket of the People's Democratic Party was a morale booster to the camp of Governor Godwin Obaseki, who is seeking re-election in the platform of his new party. However, a restraining order from a federal high court in Port Hackett, the River State capital, threatened to put a nail in the works, but a high court of justice in Ekboma Judicial Division has restrained the People's Democratic Party, the Independent National Electoral Commission, and others from removing Governor Godwin Obaseki, who had already been cleared for the party primary. It's pure politics, you know, it's, it's to be expected. Everybody's contending for the position. There's a level playing field. So people will, some people will go to court, some people will take certain decisions. But I believe that in the end, you know, people will come together, negotiate, come to agreements, and then the party will move forward. Give me your votes, make me the chairman of this party, and I will get you to government house. That was what I told all the delegates I went to in all the 18 local governments of Edo State before the Congress uh, that brought me in. And even without an election, I've already delivered on my side by taking the party back to government house. Tony Azebemi reaffirms the neutral stance of the party for the governorship primary in Edo, but Crusoe Osage believes Godwin Obaseki is the best man for the job. Anybody that emerges on the 25th of, of June as a governorship candidate, um, uh, we clearly, clearly walk, in, walk back into government house. So it was a misnomer for a do to have gone the way it went in 2008. Uh, so we're back to where we, where we are supposed to be, and we're happy about that. Two out of three centers in, in the state, south and central, we have all the commissioners, all the special advisors, we have all the House of Assembly members, all the local government chairmen and their, and their deputies. We have virtually you know, the entire structure that we used to have in the, in the APC, now moving to the PDP, which already had an established structure before. It's, it's a victory. In this case, we believe that Governor Godwin Obaseki will be that candidate. The movement of Governor Godwin Obaseki to the PDP has altered the status quo here at the Osadebe Avenue. And the party is confident of scaling the legal hurdle to be in good stead for a positive run on the 19th of September when the governorship election would be conducted in Edo State. Uvietime George, TVC News, Benin.